How's it going, everyone? This is Xiao Trainer 1030, and today I thought I would do a discussion video talking about a brand new raid boss that got released a couple days ago by time recording video, and that is Heatran. When I'm doing this video, I'm going to give you all tips and tricks of how to catch this thing, how to counter it, and so forth. Don't go over it because not only do I have a lot to say, but also to cover. Now, before I get into today's video, I do quickly mention a couple things. For starters, if you notice my my voice where everything's different, that is because I'm having a science infection. Not a good time for me to have it before my big trip tomorrow. Hopefully, that as days go by, I start getting better and better. Secondly, I apologize. It's late though. The reason I didn't upload this yesterday is because, as you all saw yesterday's video, I got a shiny deli bird. So I had to postpone this video till the next day, today to be precise. So again, I apologize for that though. Hopefully that this video still helps you guys out. Now getting back to the topic of today's video. Now what about Heatran you may ask? It is a Generation 4 Legendary Pokemon and is available from December 18th till January 15th, 2019. Heatran is a fire steel type, which is a little unusual because fire beats steel and steel doesn't do much to fire. But it is weak to fighting, water, and ground. If you're looking for weather boost Heatrans, then keep an eye out for sunny and snow. For non weather boost perfect IV, then you want to look for is 2145. For weather boost one is 2681. Now, Heatran isn't going to be seen much in competitive level or other kind of thing because it's similar with Cresselia, so pretty disappointing right there. If you're like a high level player, then it should take from three to seven players. If you are low leveled, like if you, you let's say you don't have very strong Pokemon, then it should take like eight to 20 uh, players to take it down. All right, now there are good counters against Heatran that like you can use Groudon, Rhyperior, Rhydon, Swamp Purge. Golem, etc. Now, if you do, do want all the information that I'm covering for you all, I'm reading the, uh, all the article in front of me. I'll have it in the description below. So again, everything I go, go over in front of me is in the description below. Alright, now, Heatran is going to do a lot of damage to, to, to do, though. So you do want to be dodging frequently, though. Now, Weather Boost 1 is going to do a lot of damage to you, though. So the nice part is that something that I didn't even know about, if you go to the very bottom of the page here, so for good friends, uh, you are guaranteed to get between 2383 to 2681. For great friends, 2404 to, to 2681. To ultra friends, it's 2424 to 2681. For best friend, it's 2466 to 2681. So this is just the CP range uh, between uh, which ones of the range raids you're looking for, and it depends on how many uh, friends you got with you that's raiding with you. All right, so now for catching this thing, it is pretty challenging. It's the way to say it. See, it's similar with uh, Cresselia, but I feel like this one's a little bit more challenging than uh, Cresselia. So it is going to be jumping a lot, and it's going to times. Uh, taunt you a little bit so you do want to use well go for the excellence go for the the golden raspberries now i, can, I can't say it's going to guarantee you to get one it's just that use my just uh, use my advice just uh just be patient wait for it to attack and then throw your premier ball okay so if you keep going for excellence all the kind of roll then you should build a guarantee to get one again i can't guarantee you're going to get one though just you gotta be very lucky of getting one now, uh, unfortunately, like I said already, Heatran is not going to see much in competitive level because it's not a really good Pokemon, though. It's just for collectors, it's just where you put in the Pokedex, etc., all kind of stuff. Now, that's all i got to cover for today's video. I apologize it's short. The main purpose of this video is to give you guys um, ideas of how to counter a Heatran, what perfect IV you should look for, what weather to look for, and so forth. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on everything I covered here. Have you got heat training yet? Let me know. That would be appreciated. For me, I am pretty happy with a new raid boss here. But hope that you did enjoy today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure you guys give a thumbs up. Check my channel subscribe bell for more gameplay videos. And I will see you all in the next video.